Opal Manager is more or less a spreadsheet simulator. Right now I'm looking at my squad here, Liverpool, and it's all about the information. The more information you can get, the more informed decisions you can take. And uh, this is the default view in Football Manager 24. And as you can tell, like uh, this is the selection info, uh, but I can check uh, different, uh, different uh, views. And uh, of course, it's, uh, it's useful to be able to, to check different uh, settings. But uh, you can customize and create your own views to get all the information that you use the most on one screen. And that definitely saves time and makes it uh, reduce the risk that you miss something important. And to create your own view, you go to uh, the selection info here or whatever one you have chosen. And you go to costume and then you can customize current view. And uh, when you do that, you're going to be able to like, move stuff around like I do right now. And you can sort the order here where, I, where things show up. And uh, when you created your custom view, make it a little bit clearer. We can re rename it. So I can call it, uh, in my case, like this, for example. And just to show you the view that I use myself, it looks like this. Now, clearly, this is a view I like. It might not be all the information you want. You might be missing something or I've added something that you don't care about. Right now, I'm playing with the game a little bit more zoomed in than normally, just because uh, I want you guys to be able to, to see it clearer. Or even if you're watching on smaller devices, that's why I get a scroll down here. Uh, but normally when I play without recording, I can see all this information without uh, scrolling. You can also right click here to help out to size the columns. And then you might have go into mo uh, manual mode and do something extra here to, to see everything you want. Uh, but uh, the reason for, for the information I have right now for myself, of course, when you have your team set up, you're going to see positions. You want information like if they are wanted by somebody, if they're injured on holiday the name, uh, their age might not be interested to ev everyone, but I kind of like like to focus on youth development and I might want to sell on all the plays and stuff like that. So I like to keep track on their age and we have the position, we have their morale. And of course, this one could be important for their happiness and for how they perform on the pitch, their condition. This is the match sharpness and this is the preseason. So clearly it's uh, very bad right now the current injury risk. And uh, now since they are lacking match sharpness, uh, everybody have an increased injury risk because this is the preseason you're starting. But later on, like when you have a tough uh, schedule, I kind of like to rotating, trying to minimize the amount of players that I start with that have a higher injury risk. So I use this one a lot when I pick my starting lineup. Some, sometimes I pick a weaker player, even though there's a stronger option available just because the other one like has a high injury risk right now. And then you get stats from the, the last games and how they happy they are with their amount of playing time right now. And some other stats, like goals and assists and average ratings that we don't see right now because we are in the preseason. We have their current ability and the potential ability. And this one is based on the assistant manager's opinion. You can also choose that this one is going to be based on your scout's opinion. Uh, I find it that they are usually pretty similar. Because uh, this could help with uh, what players I want to sell on in the future. Maybe we, are, we have some weaker players that don't have a great potential. So we kind of want to maybe remove these guys, sell them on, and bring in players that have a current stronger ability, or at least a higher potential. I'm okay with a lower ability if they have a strong potential. And uh, these two stats I use because I love youth development, determination, and personality. And for youth development, these stats are really, really important. I'm not going to go into this in this video, but I might do a video in the future about youth development and why these stats are important. I also have uh, the contracts. I can sort by well, like who, what players have contract that will be expiring soon. And of course, that uh, lets me easily see who I should offer a new contract to. I have transfer value because, I mean, if we need money, maybe we should sell on one of the more expensive guys. And uh, we have the wage. Another thing, like if we are working on the budget, I might be more intent to sell on somebody with a higher wage than somebody with a lower wage. And finally, I have, have a minimum fee release clause. So 
Because um, I kind of don't like my players to have a cell on class soul because I don't want to lose them. This one helps me just don't, so I don't miss out like, oh yeah, I forgot that this player had a, a release class soul. So uh, I try to offer them new contracts where I can remove it. Yes, so, so I don't miss it. And uh, when it comes to these um, customized views uh, that I highly recommend you do, they are not only for the, the squad view. You can create costume views for other things like scouting, for example. So this is the default scouting view, the overview. And again, there are a bunch of different views here. And uh, I already created my own view, this one. And let's just, uh, for the sake of it, rename it. You can call this one my scouting view for FM24. And we have stuff like name, age, of course, if you want to sign youngsters, all the players, nationality, and second nationality could especially be interesting for, for low league saves when you're trying to find those players that uh, don't need a work permit. And uh, current club, position, uh, morale, and general happiness. These ones could, of course, be signs that this player would like to, to leave his club because he's not uh, happy with something. Transfer value, at the asking price, and the asking price, this is the game like doing some estimate of a transfer value. The asking price is if the player is transfer listed, the transfer listed price will show up here. And of course, it's going to be much easier to sign somebody that's transfer listed and somebody that's not. Their wage, because if they are making a lot of money, maybe I don't want to sign in because they're going to expect a very high salary, especially if I'm managing a lower league club. I have recurring injuries, and this is some information that can kind of help me to know if they are injured prone, if they have a recurring injury. But um, to be certain, of course, you're going to scout them and get some more information about their injury status. We have their current ability and the potential ability. And once again, I'm going to scroll here, and that's because I am a bit zoomed in to be able to uh, record this one better so you guys can actually see. And here we find determination and personality again, just like with the squad view. And that's because I like to find uh, tutors sometimes. I want to find players that are really good to suit to tutor my youngsters. And this is what the scouting team thinks about them. Like, uh, do they recommend that player or not? And I can't stress you enough about creating good views for FM24, because this is, as I said in the beginning, a spreadsheet simulator. The more information you can have in front of you, the more informed decisions you can take, and that increases your chances to succeed in this game. And when I show this one, this is like the information I like. Are there any special uh, available informations that you always use in your view that maybe I didn't show here? Share that in the comment section below. And of course, I will be very grateful if you press that like button, because that helps me out. And it also shows that you like content like this. And the same if you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more FN24 content. Thank you for watching.